All right. This is some basil I've been growing. Um, it's organic from Peaceful Belly Farm. And I'm um, going to plan on making some pesto pasta later in the year. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got some uh, organic pear and apple trees here. All grafted. So no, no GMOs, but they were grafted. Meaning that you take a branch from one species of apple tree and you put it and you basically just make a little hodgepodge hybrid kind of thing. Um, all organic though. Um, let's see what's over here. Um, Alright, we got some dill, which has been growing very nice. Look at this guy. Oh, it's great. Um, this is my sandwich. Um, so we got dill, rosemary, Growing a little bit of cayenne pepper and some two jalapeno plants. Um, all of these have been from Peaceful Belly Farm, farm, which is organic and locally based. Mm. Mm. All right, let's open this up. Hold on. All right, done. Um, here we go. Now this is the um, the vegetable garden here, a and we have one herb there. But we got uh, six cucumber plants and uh, six um, uh, tomato plants. And we also got. A uh, little bit of chamomile here. I'm gonna make some nice tea later in the year. The nice thing about chamomile is that it's very durable. You know, it could, it could really live just about anywhere. A lot of sun, kind of in the shade. Really kind of just does its own thing. Um, we go, everything's been growing pretty nice. We did lose a little, a little cucumber friend a little bit a while ago, but we're moving on. Um, but also, we gotta install a new sprinkler system. So we're gonna do that. My good old friend Thomas and I. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a new sprinkler system. Make it just so it gets the right amount of water. Oh yeah, we're digging out a hole so we can plug in our sprinklers here. All the parts uh, from this very sustainable uh, Home Depot, locally based company actually, if you didn't know. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna dig out this hole, you know? Oh yeah, Liam. Dig out the hole. Shit. I lost the hole. We found it. We made it. We found it. Worn out places, worn out faces